What's up guys, Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2 and another course playthrough. This one is uh, was another recommendation by somebody on my YouTube channel and I can't remember what the exact name of the course is and I haven't got it in front of me but I'm just going to put the word lamp in here and I think it's something like lamp lighter harbour or something along those lines. But I think if I put the word lamp in here, there cannot be that many courses that have the word lamp in it. I think it's that lamp lighter harbour final. So let's select that. And let's see if we can add some ghost balls in here for the round. Let's see who we've got on the friends list that played this. I would imagine there'll be a fair few that have played this one. It is handicap rated. So Z the G has played it recently. So let's add Z in here. So we're looking for white tees. Let's see if we can find somebody else on my friends list that has played this course off the white tees with pin set number one. have a look be good if you could sort by T and pin uh, Brian sushi no Brian has there we've got another page let's see if anybody else has is it another full page yeah it is another full page boxer dog has tat has got some more on another page Same people have played it over and over again. Now, I imagine it probably would have been used in some kind of a a tournament. Jerry's played it. He's played... Is that the Green Tees? Let's add Jerry in there. Why not? He's playing off a different tee, but he's playing the same pin set. Let's have Z, the G, and Jerry in this round. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully, the wind is a little different to the last one that I... The last round that I played at Augusta, where... It only dropped out of the teens when I reached the, the 18th hole and it went down to 12 mile an hour. So it only just dropped out of the teens. Let's have a look at the wind on this round. That's a lot better. That's 8 mile an hour. I'm quite happy with that. Nice looking course. Hopefully the wind straightens that out a bit. I didn't hit that particularly straight. Whoa, it didn't straighten out. I am in the bunker, so that's not the best start, and we are plugged. So that is not going to come out well at all. No, and I didn't have a look at the firmness or the speed of the greens or anything like that. So let's have a quick butchers at that because I want to see what I'm dealing with here. Uh, course details, there we go. Firm, normal, medium, fast. So, very similar to the last round that I played at Augusta. 42. Don't spin back. All right, you can stop now. Oh, no, it's hit the slope. <laughs> oh, no. That's going to leave a horrible putt for par. And that's going to be a drop shot on the first hole. So not the best of starts. Little bit of rustiness there. Haven't played in a little while. Um, played... The Augusta round not too long ago, but um, yeah, haven't played an awful lot. So yeah, definitely some rustiness there. Uh, five, one nineteen. It'd be nice to get that shot back fairly quickly. 
And that's another terrible shot. I am not playing well at all, and there's not even any hiding from it, guys. I am playing poorly. This is this is potentially going to be back-to-back -back bogeys on the opening two holes of this round. It is. It's going to be... In fact, that's not even a guaranteed bogey. So, I am off to the worst possible start here. And, yeah, I mean, I could start again and I could start the recording again. But, you know what, guys? I'm going to play this as it lies Whatever whatever will be will be. I am now two over par through two holes. Let's see what I can do from here. What's the worst that could happen? I could end up with another few bogeys and finish over par for the round. It's not the end of the world. All right, we got one in the fairway. That's pretty good. Drives okay. Let's see if we can do something with this. That's a really, really hanging light. It's not very nice at all. 155 to the flag. Not sure whether that lie is going to counteract the wind. I'm just going to hit that dead straight and let's see what happens, where it goes. That is not a bad outcome considering the lie and the wind. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Blasted that past a little too hard. It would be nice to get a par and try and stop the bleeding a little bit. Yep, yeah, got the par. So we've stopped the bleeding. That is level par for that hole. Remain two over the other guys are level and one under respectively sorry no that's not strictly true two over jerry's the same as me two over and z the g is under par Okay, so the wind brought that n round very, very nicely. It's picked up a little bit, moved up from 8 to... It's hovering around 8, 9, 10 mile an hour. 141, 10 mile an hour wind. Putting this high up in this wind should push it up towards the hole. It has done. Yep, yeah, pretty pleased with that. Very short iron, so it checked up nicely. Even though it was firm greens. Still didn't turn enough for me to get the birdie, but we should be able to pick up the par. Back-to-back -back pars will be nice. There we go. So definitely stop the nosebleed from the first two holes. Two bogeys, back-to-back, -back, hole one and two. See if we can make some headway. Now, first of the par fives. Now, Z's gone off to the left. Does he have a point there? Let's have a let's have a look at where he's gone. Not so sure that's the best idea. It's into the wind and it's downhill. I might drop it down to the... Nah, let's play it. What's the worst that could happen? We end up in the rough or the water. The wind should hold it up before we get to the water. Yeah. Jerry had the right idea. I think Jerry is playing with the player clubs. We're still in the fairway. We managed to hold the fairway there. Can you believe that? If 
we get on in two here, it will be a miracle. I added some extra yardage on this and maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, it's not too bad. It's on the green in two. Z hits the flag. Go on, roll in. Oh yes, I will take an eagle. I will take the eagle and I will swiftly move on to the next hole because that brings me back to level par. Nice. All right, back to level par. 27.9. That's 132, 10 mile an hour wind. Oh, very fast. Didn't see that coming at all. And that's another poor shot. I think it's pin high. It's not a million miles away from the hole, but it's in a really crap position. Really crap position. And that was a lucky bounce, and that may have given me a chance just to salvage a par here. Yeah, that is that's a scraped par. That's not a not a deserved par that one. I think both the guys birdied that one. Yep, they played it very well. So Jerry and I both level par, and Z is now three under. So he's going along very nicely. I'm hoping this has got the legs to carry the water. It looks like it has. Yeah, that should be safely on. Let's play a pitch shot. rolled a lot further than I thought. I didn't expect it to get a, such a wicked kick off the bank. Ideally, I wanted it to not hit the bank at all. Z gets another one, so he's going along beautifully. Turn, turn, too much. All right, so it's going to be par. It's been pars for the last five holes. So, solid. And not making any headway whatsoever. Sorry, pars for that. I've got an eagle in there that brought me back to level par. I shouldn't forget that. Pulled that and the wind is probably going to accentuate that a little bit. But it's okay. Looks like Z's in some bother. Jerry at a stonking drive, he must have had the wind. I mind you, he's playing off different tees as well. I, I do forget. Um, I didn't see where Z ended up. Did he get out of the muck? That could be good. That could be good. That could be my... I'm not going to get much of a better opportunity to go under par than right here, right now. Oh, and I just missed it as well. Just missed it as well. It was moving both ways. I should have just hit it dead straight. Still level par though. What did Z get there? A six. So he's back to two under. Jerry dropped a shot somewhere he's back to one over so that's all still very very close Jerry has he caught the slope he has he's caught the slope what a drive I oh, mind you as I said he's playing off a different tee I have to remember that
All right, I could do with the slope moving this round to the left a little. Yeah, it's coming around a wee bit. Is it a long hole, this one? Yeah, still 300 yards. Not going to be anywhere near the green. Safely in the short stuff. Beautiful waterfall in the background there. So this is this is a cracking looking course, I have to say. So I'm not going to get much of a better opportunity. Oh, I was going to say to pick up a birdie, but then I hit a slow on the downswing and it goes sailing past the flag. Get in. Oh, deary me. All right, that's a par. So does that mean those two guys both bogeyed that hole? Yeah, they both got sixes. So it is, it really is all to play for at the moment. Z's one ahead, two's Jerry, sorry, Jerry's two behind. 181, 18 feet down. That's playing 175. It's going to be a bit big. The slope took a bit of the sting out of it. going both ways so learnt lessons before I just died to the right at the end there I think Jerry's dropped another one there ah no he was still putting he was still putting I think that was his first no he did drop one he's gone plus three now Right, have to be really careful not to go too long here. I think I'm going to drop down to the three wood and play safe. I think that was definitely the smart play. Yeah, definitely would have run out of room there. 298. Another 10 yards and I would have been in the rough. Has this got the legs? 155. Needs a good bounce. Oh, this. This, this could be... This could be the elusive birdie that I've been looking for. Yeah, under par. Under par for the first time in the round. It's only taken me 11, hole, <laughs> 11 holes. All right, so level with Z at one under. Jerry at three over. And we hit a par four. I've hit a fast one here. This could be in a lot of bother unless we get a good kick to the left. It's in the first cut, so it may not be too bad. The problem we've got is that tree. came out nicely how it's going to be for distance I don't know that's not too bad that's not too bad we're in the short stuff and it's rolled on really nicely turn 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 no turn 
just turned at the end. Just a little bit at the end. Alright, in for par. So, remain at one under. I think Z bogeyed that one. Let's have a quick look at the scorecard. He did. He's back to level. So, I've managed to pull it back round. I'm going to try and take on probably more than I should here. But I'm hoping for a good swing and a good bounce. I need a good bounce. That's the main thing. That's the bounce I was looking for. And that's in the short stuff. It's nice when you actually plan a shot and it comes off just like that. Let's hope this has got the legs. Oh, it just had the legs. Just, just, just had the legs. Really like this course. It's very, very challenging. Didn't hit it hard enough and it didn't move at all. Everybody picks up a par there. We move on to, I think, hole number 15? 14. Stroke index 1. So, toughest hole on the course. Let's treat it with some respect. Ooh. And that's, that's what I'm worried about. What just happened to Z. He got an absolutely torrid kick off the bank. I got a fast slow, so this could be all sorts of ugly. Oh, the tree I think saved me from going in the water. I can't see anything. Right, 176 to the flag. In all sorts of cabbage. That was just about getting it back in the fairway. I had to listen for the swing there as opposed to see what I was doing. That is difficult pin placement. That is a really difficult pin position. I can see why this is stroke index one. It is a very, very tough hole, and I don't think I've hit that hard enough. It's still, it's on the green, but I think I'm going to struggle to pick up par. Yeah, that's a drop shot. I deserve a drop shot with that tee shot. It was not good at all. I'm not too disappointed with the bogey, if I can manage to get this in. Yeah, I'm not too disappointed with the bogey. I felt like I deserved it. It was not a very well played hole. So that is me back to level par. Z has gone back to minus one, I think. No, he's level. So it's all square on 15. Oh, that is so tempting. Now, I know these clubs hit further than they actually show. The question is, how much further? Let's find out. Oh! Ooh. Out of bounds! You're kidding me! Oh, you're joking. Why on earth would you have an out of bounds in the middle of a flipping fairway that is oh man <laughs> uh, serves me right for not checking this is going to make the hole very long oh 
Uh, even longer now, I'm in the rough. All right, so I need to get that in at 172 yards just to get a par. I've given it a good go. All right, so this is probably going to be a double. Okay, didn't give that enough willy. So that's a double bogey. The out of bounds absolutely nailed me there. Z got a bogey there as well, so he's plus one, Jerry's plus two, I'm plus three. So we're all over par. Got par four sixteenth. Uh, sorry, par five sixteenth here. So good opportunity. Let's have a look where the hole is. Right, it's dog leg right. Question is, Z went off this way. Ooh, there is all sorts of trouble written all over this. Oh, it's a fast, so it's going the right way. Um, with a fast, it's always going to pull the shot. So it worked out in my favour. 271. This one's not so much in my favour because of that tree. I'm going to have to try and pull this round the tree. That's not bad from there. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can get this up and down. Yeah, I'll take that. We could get a birdie. Uh, so, yeah, is this for a birdie? This is for birdie. Yeah, all right. Back to one over. Back to one over. Oh, Z gets an eight on that one. So he's dropped from... Wow, he's gone to plus four now. Three over on one hole. Right, I want to try and get back to level par. I feel like I've got it in me. Nice drive. Should be safely in the fairway. It's a tough course. It's really beautiful. It is a cracking, cracking looking golf course. But it is really, really tough. There is no getting away from that. 167. Absolutely bang on the yardage. Slightly downhill lie. That looks good. That looks good. And it's checked up nicely. Oh, could this be the putt that gets me back to level par going into the 18th? Please be the putt. It is the putt. Jerry picks up a birdie as well. I think Jerry's back to one over now. Two over. I'm level par going into the 18th. It's a par four, stroke index five. So relatively tough. Got a fair chunk of fairway to play with here. Nice drive. Should be in the short stuff. We are in the short stuff. So we're going to have a good look at the second. 164. Nice strike, nice swing. Has it got the legs? So that's back-to-back -back holes. I've played really decent approach shots into these greens. 
leaving myself with a birdie opportunity. Now, could we end up under par? No, just pulled it ever so ever so slightly. It's gone four feet past, five feet past the flag. Let's tap that in and we end up with a level par round. So let's have a quick look. I think it will tell us, yeah, even Z picks up a plus four. He's got a 76 and Jerry a plus two, 74. What a cracking, cracking golf course that is. I would recommend that to anybody if you're looking for a course to play and you haven't played Lamplighter Harbour final, then give that one a go. If you enjoyed the video, guys, smash that like button. Leave some comments in the box below. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye now.